Oh yeah, yeah. Remember, I didn't know I didn't know they had a family. I thought he was a loner. You know, but <laughs> no, not me. I'm the loner. Ah, you're the loner. I thought you you had family, and he was no, the loner. No, no. But no, I was the opposite. No, it was uh, it was good to see him, man. I didn't know he was here in Indiana. Good to see his family. Happy that he came to the game. And it's always uh, good to see uh, you know people that you've been around for a while. It's good to see him. For you tonight, just kind of getting into the paint, um, kind of what were you seeing as the openings? I, I know this Pacers team is a little bit, they're injured, they don't, they don't have their full roster, so that makes it a little bit more difficult. But just kind of what were you seeing being, being able to get into the line? I was just able to, you know, uh, hit them in the roller a lot. Uh, I think uh, Brook did a great job rolling and uh, dominating the paint. And uh, we just had a little bit more freedom in the paint tonight, and uh, we were able to take advantage of it. And it was one of those games that uh, me and Brooke uh, was able to, you know, get a first rebounds, you know, um, be able to screen and roll hard and get a little bit some dump offs. Um, but wasn't rotating as fast. So uh, as I say, we both took, took advantage of it, and uh, it was a good game. We both helped the team score in the paint tonight. Uh, I know you're focused on on good habits and stuff right now, so. I just kind of look at the scores, like 133 tonight, I think, 133 against the Wizards, 134 against the Rockets, 146 against the Spurs. Just what are you seeing defensively right now? The teams are kind of getting loose against you guys. Man, like, against uh, San Antonio, they were on five. Uh, tonight, uh, Drew brother uh, had nine threes, you know. So, so you know, at the end of the, I think we as a team had like 12 of them. Right? How many threes we made? Let me see. Give me a second. Uh, we made. 11. How many we made? Eleven tonight. Eleven. You see, you see, what I'm talking about. So we gotta do a better job. We gotta do a better job defending. We gotta do a better job guarding the three point line. Uh, we gotta do a better job, you know, keeping guys in front and taking that indi individual uh, pride. You know, also we gotta do a better job rebounding the ball. You know. Um, you know, I think we gave them a lot of second chances. They were coming in, tipping the ball, um, taking it out of our hands, and you know, getting up the threes or getting uh, able to score. And we got to do a better job, you know, in the first, you know, punch, the first push of them. Sometimes they just get easy ones, right? We got to do a better job sprinting back. One time, it happened to me uh, that I fouled him, and uh, he went to the free throw line. And one time, it happened to uh, Drew. Got to be able to, you know, get back, get set, and. Uh, Keep guys in front of us. Jim Mozarski. Yes. Um, mentioned Brooke there, and, and you've been honest throughout this year about adjusting to the dunker and that extra person in the paint. Um, with Brooke, when he is now, uh, especially since the All Star break, become I don't know if it's more effective is the right word, but more of a presence, or he's down there more often. I mean, how, how have you seen you two? Figure out your spacing where you can have a night like tonight, and not just tonight, but other nights since the break really where he's putting up 10 shots in the paint and you're also down there and then the dunker sometimes is down there how have you seen uh, you two kind of work work that out i guess i think i think he'd done um he done a better job um uh, being a dunker and just working that uh, spot more than me uh, my points from the paint usually comes from like pick and roll uh, being the roller um dho's from that, um, usually when I'm when I get to the dunker, it's more like I create a lot of attention, and my guy never leaves me. So my dump off is n almost like it's never there, you know. But uh, with Brooke, I feel like he's doing a great job just working with Drew. You know, when I set it and I roll and I get it in the pocket, he's working that dunker. When the shot goes up, he's able to get a position to go for offensive rebound. And like we need Brooke to do that. Like he's the biggest guy out there on the court. And uh, if he dominates, he just he's a present in the paint. It's always um, it's go always going to be good for the team. Um, well, along those lines, not that you don't need him to make threes, but obviously this year there are other three-point shooters. So what what can maybe his presence in the paint going forward or in the playoffs maybe do for you that? didn't have the last couple years or maybe adds a different element I guess if he's if he's able to get down there uh it just I think adds a different element to our, our game uh, obviously we want him to make threes 
He's a great uh, three-point shooter, but like his presence down in the paint, he's, it's unbelievable. You know, he has a great touch around the rim. I say he's the biggest guy out there. He can offensive rebound. Uh, he can create issues for the other team being down there. And there's gonna be times that he's gotta be out there in the three-point line, like trailing, and um, yeah, most of the time trailing into a three. But if he's not trailing into a three, I think uh, in order for us, you know, to be good, he gotta be down there. He gotta be creating issues every single possession, and uh, that's what he did tonight. Probably. Lori Nickel. Hey, Giannis, nice shirt. Um, I kind of expected you guys to look tired, you know, five games in the final seven days of the season. But obviously you've got some burst and strength to you. Can you give me some ideas of what you know works for you this time of year? Are you increasing your nutri nutrition or tweaking it or resting your feet? Or what are you doing to kind of, you can't taper like a marathon runner before the Olympics. you got to keep going. So what works for you this time of year? Stay good care of my body. Uh, Lifting weights, um, sleeping, you know, I think the best, like you can do, you can do cold top, you can um, do normal tech boots, you know, you can do um, uh, capping, like a bunch of all those stuff, but like the most important thing to recover is sleeping, you know, be able to sleep eight hours at night, wake up, do what you gotta do with breakfast, um, um, and after that, take a, take a good nap, two, three hours, uh, that's what I usually do, and uh, get ready for the game. I don't do much, uh, but like I, lo I love sleeping. I think uh, when I sleep um, the right way and enough time, I'm I'm I'm, I'm recovered for the game. Do you feel pretty good right now? No, I feel tired. I'm not gonna lie. I feel tired, uh, but at the end of the day. This is the NBA season. You know, you're going to feel tired, but um, there's going to be days I'm going to feel tired. And, um, you know, I've got, I've got to get some rest. And when I get some rest, I'm going to feel better. And when I feel better, I can play for, um, I can play better. I can uh, do that extra effort for my team. But at the end of the day, you expect to be tired. You know, as long as I'm not mentally tired, I'm good. If my physically, if I'm physically tired, it doesn't really matter to me. Like what keeps you like focused and locked in, knowing okay, there's only two games left, and obviously like the focus is on the playoffs because that's the goal. What keeps you locked in on Miami and Chicago? It's exactly like you know to answer your questions. I I I don't know what who we play next. You know, like after the game, I had to ask guys like who will play next. You know, and it was like Miami at home. I'm like okay, great. You know, and then I get ready for it. You know, like I don't try to think, oh, we have Miami and Chicago and all that. I just take it day by day, focusing on Indiana tomorrow. I have a day off. As I say, go uh, my day off, enjoy some time with my son, um, eat some chicken wings, eat some pizzas, eat some um, custard at night. I usually do, you know, like just enjoy my day. And then when the, uh, that day comes, I try to lock in. You know, um, go to shoot around, get some rest, and then play the game. I just take it day by day, and uh, so far it's helped me throughout my career to be uh, mentally rested. And hear me out on this last question. So sometimes, like on your dunks after them, it's like this like superhero transforms. It's like you transform from Giannis into this like superhuman person, right? And the energy like exudes through the television. How do you feel in those moments? Do you feel like outside of your body after you elevate on someone and it's like a monster dunk. How does Giannis feel after? Oh, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, I just feel like so much adrenaline and um, I gotta let it out, you know. Uh, but like what I've realized throughout my career is that, you know, after I scream or I mean mug or, you know, I flex, now I'm tired, you know, because I flex for two, three seconds. So now I'm running down the court and I'm like, damn, I should shouldn't have done that, you know, so as uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, this year I tried not to flex as much like usually a dunk, I just walk back. Like pre like early in my career, like every dunk was a meme mug, was a flex, was a, you know, a scream. But now I just try to save as much energy as I can because I got to go down from there and uh, 
compete as hard as I can defensively. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you.